I will not condone a course of action that will lead us to war. Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day today. Me? Eh. Anyway, so today I thought I might do a really easy and simple um, makeup. Um, it is around like now to about I think November, December. There's still a lot of Comic Cons and Expos and etc. in the Nerd Kingdom. So I thought I'd try um, and do a very simple and easy one. Um, not a favorite with everybody, um, but people who are Star Wars nerds will love this. Um, I myself used to be a Star Wars and Trek nerd. Now I'm just more of a Trek nerd as I've gotten older and just stayed true to the thing I really love. Um, I'm sorry, but um, but yeah, I'm just going to do the Star Wars sort of uh, makeup today. I'm going to um, do a Queen Amidala um, from the episode one series as she was queen in the first one. So I'm going to attempt to do that today and yeah. So I'm primed. I'm ready to go. And so I have my white face makeup here, the um, one that I put over my face instead of the liquid, as the liquid is a little hard to put on because as you're putting the liquid on, the liquid tends to thin out and it's very hard to deal. Doing a larger area, the thicker it is, the better it is. So let's go. Okay, so I'm about to put it on with the, with the sponge pad like I always do. So I'm about to do that now and I've got to warm up this. So okay, here we go. Fun part, <clears throat> baby powder to actually get there and cover my face so that if you're going on a long um, party or journey or something that you're doing with your face or you're going to be at a comic con all day, you don't sweat your makeup off, you use this. It also helps um, keep it on your face for longer. Okay, here we go. I have successfully done my face but when you're doing an Amidala face you've got to make sure that you do your lips also so what you got to do is you got to do your whole face then after you've powdered your face you're gonna need a drink so you drink some water because that powder gets stuck in your in your insides and you really need to wash that crap out and then after you've done that you have to put some white um, the white paint onto your lips and then take the powder over your lips really quickly and yeah that's what you have to do so well that's what I had to do anyway um, but yeah or you can have white lipstick if you have white lipstick because she has very pale lips but I just wanted to do it like this because she doesn't need them to be overly done just powdered done which is what she has done in the Star Wars film so as you can see my face like it was white to start with but it's pretty much ghost white now which is what Queen Amidala was and um, being Natalie Portman she is quite she much a little bit more paler than myself being of Greek origins the skin being a little bit more paler so yeah <laughs> so anyways 
Here we go, my face is pretty white. Okay, so the next step is adding um, the features. So I was going to start with my eyebrows. You thought I was going to say the red bits, didn't you? Ha! I'm going to start with the black parts. Okay, so I'm going to get my trusty little eyeliner pencil that I have here. Waxy pencil. Okay, and I'm going to add in my eyebrows. I'm going to make them black as um, Queen Amidala's were black as her hair was dark. I'm going to try and put that in there. See, like that. I've made them just a little bit longer. Um, I don't know why. I just thought that'd be something. So she's got dark eyebrows. Right. And I was actually going to do my eyeliner at the same time. So probably the same pencil. Use for your eyeliner as well. So there we go. The normal cat eye eyeliner is fine just to bring out your eye a little bit better and pop, make your eyes a little wider and pop. So just a normal eyeliner is fine. It doesn't need to be overly too much because Queen Mandela is very, about, very much about simplicity because it is a very simple makeup but it was created by George Lucas himself. So the next part is that I'm going to do my mascara so any old any old mascara is fine I'm just gonna use this one I'm not showing you what brand this one is um but I'm just any old mascara is fine whatever you have or even if you've got fake lashes is fine I just don't use fake lashes as I think they're disgusting and horrible and fake and if I do like a really dramatic thing would I have them so just it's fine. Okay. Yeah, done. So, made my eyelashes longer and made them to look a bit fake, but they're not. Which is, this is a really good mascara for that. I wish I could show you the brand, but I won't because no one sponsors me. So, if you could sponsor me, that would be great. Then I'll show you brands. But until then, <laughs> okay, so I've done my mascara, my eyeliner, my eyebrows. The next part to Queen Amidala is the simple, the dots and the lip. The dots being to symbolize the tears, the tears of Naboo and the people. They are the, the tears and the sweat of the people to show that you have, or oh, that Queen Amidala has the interests of the people at heart and that she will think about the people's interests when coming to ruling and doing all the duties as they put her in Senate for. So that's what those two dots mean. They mean the, the, the sweat and the, and the love of the people and that you have to uphold that as a queen, an elected queen. The lip though, I kind of forget what that means, but all these Star Wars people are yelling at me. I'm pretty sure I can hear them through the screen already. No, oh, I know what it means. Ooh. Well, you can go to Wikipedia and Google that crap, okay? Because I'm not a big Star Wars fan anymore. I gave it up a long time ago. Um, I gave it up on the third movie, I think, because after the third movie, I was so devoted about the movie. So, I haven't watched a Star Wars since, not even the new ones. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm a nerd, but... So, chastise me and you will in the comments below, okay? <laughs> okay, so for her dots, 
I'm going to be using fake blood instead of paint. I find that when I'm using white um, on my face, that fake blood, it does a really good job on painting on your face with a uh, earbud or a what you guys call Q-tips, you see? And um, these seem to help with the blood and you paint it on your face, especially if I'm doing a skull design. Instead of using paint, I use fake blood and it just comes out better when you're wearing white paint because white and red, well, it's gonna stand out. Um, but fake blood, I don't know, it just works a lot better when you're doing it. I don't know why. So I'm gonna get a little bit of fake blood and put it in its lid. Just a little bit of its lid here. It's a little gloopy because it's the consistency of real blood. So if you're using it, um, using it like for sores or whatever, or you're using it to be gloopy, it has a consistency of blood, and it's a very cool thing. But we're not using it as a blood today. We're using it as a paint. So you get your Q-tip, and here's the lid with the paint with the blood in it. Okay. So I'm gonna get that. Here's the red. I'm just gonna dot. My dot of fealty. Okay. Some dots of fealty. I'm just gonna fix it because it didn't come out properly. There you go. One dot of fealty to the people of Naboo. And here is my other one. I'm just gonna fix it. There's my two dots as fealty to the people of Naboo. Okay, going well so far. Okay, and so you have one here as a lip. Here, that here. right here where your cupid's bow is is where and how big your cupid's bow is is how big the lip in the middle is going to be so where your cupid's bow is exactly where this is going to be right there so i'm happy with the placement uh, where that is and that will dry and because this is a blood thing and it's actually got um because it's this blood stuff, because it's inky, because it's got an ink in it, this will like stain, it'll stain on there and it won't come off, which is really cool. And um, you can use an indelible lipstick if you want to for this instead, but I find that the, this blood is got a, like an ink in it and it'll die onto my lips, it'll die onto my cheeks for the night or day, whatever you're doing, and it won't come off, even if you sweat. Um, if you cry it'll come off, but if you sweat, I don't think it really comes off because I've used it over Halloween before and it never really came off until I wiped it off. So you know that you're in good hands with the fake blood, okay? Just don't put it in your mouth because it's quite, um, it's non-toxic, but still don't put it in your mouth. It's pretty gross tasting, but, uh, because it's kind of plasticky when it dries. Um, but yeah. Now you get the idea. And I'm actually going to use lipstick for the top, um, the top here, which is what I'm going to do. I've got a, a indelible lipstick here that I like using. This is like my everyday lipstick that I use because I use red lipstick, as you know. But this one is a one from I don't know what. Uh, I know what company, so it's one called Boho Chic. It's a very cool color. I really like using it. So I'm going to use that for my top lip only because Shuni has a top lip red. So here we go. So when you do this, make sure that you have a piece of tissue to blot the top so that it does not touch these lips, otherwise when you go and put your lips down you'll have, you just wrecked your bottom lip, but um, I didn't, so I was happy with that and I'm happy with how I look. 
So I've got the uh, Queen Amidala look down. I think I've done everything I'm supposed to now and I've got the Queen Amidala face happening. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope that you like that this is just an easy simple one unlike last week with the Deadpool. It was a little hard and a little messy and I'll tell you what to take it off. The amount of wipes, I think I used about two packets of wipes just to get the Deadpool off my face. <laughs> so this one's a simple one that I'm happy with and I can take it off very easily and I'm not scaring my cat <laughs> this time. And so yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed it today and I love you guys and keep on being nerdy and I love you all. Bye!